Hey guys, today I'll show you how to generate SSH keys using Bitface and Putty on Windows. Using SSH keys when logging into your server is the best thing you need to do once you have bought a VPS dedicated or VDS. SSH keys consist of two pairs. SSH keys consist of a private and public key. So the private key you need to keep that on a safe place because it is obviously a private and the public key is to be copied to your server. So when you log into your favorite SSH client, for example, Bitbase, the private key and public key will communicate to each other so that you can log in. Without the private key, you cannot log in. Without the public key, you cannot also log in. So this pair is unique and you cannot just generate another private key or public key because this is only unique pair. So meaning you should keep your private key and public key safely. So I'll show you the process. So first you need to download Bitvice and Putty these are free ssh client and next you need to uh, generate the private and public keys copy the public key to your server and log in using ssh keys so once you have successfully logged in using ssh keys you need to disable password based login so let's start okay now you need to download bitvice it is absolutely free and once you have installed it, run. So go to Client Key Manager and just click Generate New. And we will just uh, name this as Profile 5 with RSA algorithm. And we will use the maximum size that is 4096. And the passphrase so what is a passphrase so for example you have kept your private key securely but a hacker find out that kept it in your laptop and have managed to get those keys and try to log into your server but if you have a passphrase the hacker will need to enter the passphrase in order to use those keys so passphrase is another level of um, security which is good to have and be sure to remember your passphrase because if you'll forget your passphrase you can never use your ssh keys so be sure to remember i will add a passphrase and i'll just uh okay web so I'll just click generate. Okay, so now you have a private and a public key. So we will export this. You need to export the public key first. Be sure to use open SSH and click export. So I'll name this as public key and we will also export our private key. So the same format, it will be open SSH format, click export and this is how passphrase work. So you need to sorry, enter your passphrase. And just click continue. Okay, now we need to log into our server using password because we cannot just use the SSH keys just yet. So let's go back to our Bitvice. We'll just close this one. So put your server IP here and you will use root and you can just 
put the initial method to none. So let's log in using our password first. And just click accept and save. Okay, enter your root password. And just go to terminal console. Okay, perfect. First, we need to check if the SSH directory exists. Let's use list. Okay, it doesn't exist, so we will create a directory. set the correct permissions sorry and we will create a file called authorized underscore keys so we'll use nano we'll use the ssh directory that ssh authorized okay we will copy the public key here so let's go to our public key so open your public key okay i'll just copy this one so to paste it on your terminal you just need to right click your mouse key and to save just control x choose y and hit enter and we will set the correct permission for our file that will be ch mod 600 so our dot ssh hit enter okay so now we have added our public key we'll now try to log in using our ssh keys i will just close this one and okay i'll just log out so here we need to set this to public key and we will use our profile 5 that we have created and enter the passphrase so just hit login okay perfect we did not use password when logging into our server we used our ssh keys that is how you will generate ssh keys and log in using the generated ssh keys but this is not the end of the process you need to disable a password login so before we need to do that we proceed to putty so if you will use putty this is how you will generate ssh so just go to putty.org and download putty and once you downloaded putty and install it on your windows be sure to run putty gen Okay, I'll just search. Okay, so run PuttyGen. And just click Generate. And move your mouse cursor over this blank page to generate your SSH keys. Great, so this is your public key. And we need to save our private key. So I'll just save this private key. So I will not be using passphrase for a demo. So let's see how it goes. So I'll just choose yes. I'll just set this to private key body. So I'll just save this one. So let's log into our 
server this time we'll be using party so i'll just copy this one to our authorized keys so i'll just run party we will log in using a uh, password so i'll just paste my house name here and of course i'll use port 22 i'll hit open just click accept so login as root and enter your password okay great so let's go to nano ssh authorized underscore keys okay sorry about that control x that is only one c okay this is the public key we have copied using bitvice a while ago and we will paste our public key here okay i'll just copy this one and right click mouse right click and just control x y hit enter so i'll just close this one yes we will try to log in using our ssh keys we have generated on party so i'll we'll just run party again okay i'll just paste my host name here and let's go to connection and expand ssh go to auth and just click credentials and we will need to browse the location of our private key okay i just save this one here and i will open this one and just click open so it will be root okay great we have not used the password based login but instead the ssh keys so now i'll be going to disable password authentication okay i'll be just using the body instead let's go to nano we'll edit this file adc ssh sshd underscore config so we will find password authentication so in order to do that i just control w and search for password authentication So we will set this to no. So let's save the file, control X, Y, and hit enter. Okay, perfect. So we will restart the SSH service, it will be system, restart, SSH, hit enter. Now let's try to log in using our password if we can still log in. I'll be using a bit device this time. I'll just uh, log out this one. So let's uh, so let's set this to none and we will try to log in using our password. Or you can just set this password. So we'll just click login. Let's see if we can, okay, we cannot log in using our password. So we have successfully generated SSH keys using Bitvice and Body so that we can enable SSH login. So let's try to use the public key instead. And of course, for our passphrase, click login. Okay, perfect. So now this is the first step to securing your private servers using SSH keys. 
So I hope you learned something. And this is very important if you run email servers or host multiple WordPress websites and or web applications on your server. So I hope you learned something and please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if this video helped you in any way. And as usual, if you have any questions, just comment them down on the comments section down below and I'll try to answer them all. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.